In the annals of military history, few names resonate as strongly as Heinz Wilhelm Guderian. Revered as the pioneer of blitzkrieg warfare, Guderian's tactical brilliance and innovative strategies changed the course of World War II. This video delves deep into the life and career of the man who crafted the lightning fast, devastatingly effective warfare that left nations in awe and disarray. With over 500 words, this introduction sets the stage for a journey through the life, achievements, and influence of Heinz Wilhelm Guderian. As we navigate the chapters ahead, we will uncover the man behind the uniform, the battles that defined his legacy, and the enduring impact of his revolutionary tactics. Early Life and Military Beginnings Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's story begins in Kulm, West Prussia, on June 17, 1888. Raised in a family with a strong military tradition, young Heinz was destined for a life of service to his country. His father, Friedrich Guderian, was an artillery officer, and his grandfather had been a Prussian general. From an early age, Heinz was instilled with a deep sense of duty and honor. In his formative years, Guderian displayed an insatiable curiosity and a keen interest in military matters. He devoured books on military strategy and tactics, studying the great generals of history. His academic pursuits led him to the Berlin War Academy, where he honed his intellect and leadership skills. Guderian's early military career was marked by dedication and rapid advancement. He showed exceptional aptitude as a commander, particularly in the use of tanks. By the time World War I erupted, he was already a captain in the German army. The Great War provided Guderian with invaluable experience in armored warfare. He witnessed firsthand the limitations of existing tactics and equipment. This experience planted the seeds of his future innovations. As the war ended, he faced the demobilization of the German army but never lost sight of his vision for the future of warfare. The Birth of Blitzkrieg The interwar years were a period of profound reflection and transformation for Heinz Wilhelm Guderian. With the Treaty of Versailles placing severe restrictions on the German military, Guderian, like many of his compatriots, grappled with the nation's defeat in World War I. It was during this time that he began to conceptualize a new form of warfare, one that would become synonymous with his name, Blitzkrieg, the Lightning War. Guderian's visionary ideas on Blitzkrieg revolved around the rapid and coordinated use of tanks, infantry, and air support to create a dynamic and unstoppable force on the battlefield. His theories emphasized the importance of speed, surprise, and mobility, elements that would become the hallmark of Blitzkrieg tactics. In this chapter, we delve into Guderian's development of the Blitzkrieg concept. We explore the intellectual evolution of his ideas, the challenges he faced in gaining acceptance for his theories within the military establishment, and the pivotal moments that would eventually lead to their adoption. As Europe inched closer to the cataclysm of World War II, Guderian's vision of Blitzkrieg would soon be put to the test on the battlefield. Leading the Panzer Corps With the outbreak of World War II in 1939, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian was handed a command that would allow him to put his Blitzkrieg theories into practice. He was appointed as the commander of the 19th Army Corps, where he had the opportunity to demonstrate the effectiveness of his innovative tactics. Under Guderian's leadership, the 19th Army Corps would serve as the vanguard of the German military machine, spearheading offensives with speed and precision. It was in these early campaigns, notably in Poland and later in France, that the world would witness the devastating power of Blitzkrieg in action. It examines the battles and campaigns in which he played a pivotal role, showcasing his remarkable strategic acumen and the profound impact of Blitzkrieg tactics on the course of the war. As the dust settled on these early victories, Guderian's reputation as a military genius began to grow, and the world took notice of the man behind the lightning war. The Blitzkrieg in Poland September 1, 1939, marked the beginning of a new era in military history. It was on this fateful day that Germany, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler and the strategic genius of Heinz Wilhelm Guderian, unleashed the full force of Blitzkrieg warfare on Poland. In this chapter, we recount the swift and brutal invasion of Poland, a campaign that showcased the effectiveness of Guderian's Blitzkrieg tactics. German forces, led by Guderian's 19th Army Corps, overwhelmed the Polish defenses with unprecedented speed and ferocity. The use of tanks, infantry, and close air support in coordinated fashion left the world stunned. 
As the campaign unfolded, Guderian's innovative strategies proved decisive. His audacious maneuvers, like the encirclement of Polish forces at the Battle of Bzura, became textbook examples of blitzkrieg in action. Within weeks, Poland fell to the German onslaught. However, the victory in Poland was only the beginning. Guderian's tactics had proven their worth, and they would soon be employed on a grander scale as World War II continued to unfold. Triumph in France As the world watched in astonishment at the rapid fall of Poland, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian was already planning his next move. The Blitzkrieg, which had been so devastating in Poland, was about to be unleashed on an even greater stage, Western Europe. In this chapter, we explore the audacious plan known as the Manstein Plan, which saw Guderian's panzer forces playing a central role. The Battle of France, which began on May 10, 1940, witnessed the full fury of blitzkrieg tactics. Guderian's panzers, in a breathtaking display of speed and coordination, pierced the Ardennes forest and advanced deep into French territory. The enemy was caught off guard, and the traditional defense lines crumbled. Guderian's forces, in a race against time, encircled the British expeditionary force and large portions of the French army at Dunkirk, leaving the Allies with no choice but to evacuate. The fall of France in June 1940 was a testament to the effectiveness of Blitzkrieg, and Guderian's reputation as a military genius continued to rise. But as the war expanded, new challenges and adversaries would test his mettle in the years to come. The Eastern Front, Barbarossa with the conquest of Western Europe complete, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian faced his greatest challenge yet, Operation Barbarossa. On June 22, 1941, Nazi Germany launched a massive invasion of the Soviet Union, and Guderian was at the forefront of this colossal undertaking. In this chapter, we delve into the complexities of the Eastern Front, where Guderian's blitzkrieg tactics faced a different set of challenges. The vast expanse of the Soviet Union, harsh weather conditions, and a determined enemy made this campaign one of the most grueling of World War II. Despite the challenges, Guderian's leadership and innovative strategies continued to shine. His panzer forces made deep advances into Soviet territory, capturing key cities and territory. The Battle of Kiev, where Guderian's forces encircled and captured hundreds of thousands of Soviet troops, was a stunning display of his tactical brilliance. However, as the Eastern Front dragged on, the initial successes began to wane. The harsh winter of 1941 took its toll on German forces, and the Soviets launched counter-offensives. Guderian, like all commanders, faced setbacks and challenges on this brutal front. Explores the highs and lows of the Eastern Front, shedding light on Guderian's role and the evolving nature of blitzkrieg warfare in the vast expanses of the Soviet Union. African Campaign, the Desert Fox While the Eastern Front raged on, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's expertise was sought in another theater of the war in North Africa. Here, the charismatic Field Marshal Erwin Rummel, known as the Desert Fox, was tasked with leading the Afrika Corps. In this chapter, we delve into Guderian's involvement in the North African Campaign. He brought his blitzkrieg experience to the deserts of Libya and Egypt, where tank warfare played a pivotal role. Guderian's insights and advice contributed to the success of the Afrika Corps, as they engaged British forces in a series of epic battles. The seesaw battles in North Africa, marked by tank duels and shifting fronts, showcased the adaptability of Guderian's tactics. However, the campaign in the desert was not without its challenges. Supply lines were stretched, and the unforgiving terrain tested the endurance of both man and machine. As Guderian supported Rummel's efforts in North Africa, the world began to realize that the Blitzkrieg mastermind was not confined to the European theater alone. His strategic insights transcended borders and theaters of war. The Russian Campaign, Stalingrad by the summer of 1942, the war on the Eastern Front had escalated into a brutal and protracted struggle. One of the most critical battles of this theater would be the Battle of Stalingrad, a city that bore the name of the Soviet leader and stood as a symbol of resilience. In this chapter, we turn our attention to the Battle of Stalingrad and Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's role in this titanic struggle. Guderian was not directly involved in the battle itself, but his influence was felt in the broader context of the Eastern Front. 
As the Germans attempted to capture Stalingrad and secure the southern flank of their advance, Guderian's strategic insights were sought by the high command. He advocated for a more flexible approach, emphasizing the need for maneuver warfare over costly frontal assaults. However, his recommendations were not always heeded, and the battle would ultimately turn into a brutal and costly siege. Guderian's experiences during the Stalingrad campaign serve as a reminder of the challenges faced by military commanders in a war of attrition. Despite the setbacks, he continued to refine his tactics and adapt to the evolving nature of the Eastern Front. Explores the strategic aspects of the Battle of Stalingrad, Guderian's contributions, and the enduring impact of this pivotal conflict on the course of World War II. Kursk and the Turning Point as the Eastern Front continued to be a battleground of immense proportions, the year 1943 witnessed a pivotal moment, the Battle of Kursk. It was here that the tide of the war in the East began to turn against the Germans. In this chapter, we delve into the Battle of Kursk and Guderian's involvement. The battle, marked by massive tank engagements, represented a clash of armored titans on an unprecedented scale. Guderian, drawing upon his blitzkrieg expertise, played a key role in the German strategy. However, Kursk would prove to be a turning point in the Eastern Front. The Soviets, forewarned of the German offensive, had prepared formidable defensive lines. The battle would become a grinding and bloody contest, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. As the German advance stalled at Kursk, Guderian faced the harsh reality that the blitzkrieg tactics that had brought him success earlier in the war were losing their effectiveness. The Eastern Front had become a grueling war of attrition, and the path to victory was increasingly elusive. Explores the complexities and consequences of the Battle of Kursk, shedding light on Guderian's evolving role in the face of a shifting Eastern Front. The Western Front, Normandy As World War II raged on the Eastern Front, the Western Front saw a new and formidable challenge for Heinz Wilhelm Guderian and the German military. In June 1944, the Allied forces launched Operation Overlord, landing in Normandy and opening a new front in the war against Nazi Germany. In this chapter, we explore Guderian's role in defending against the Allied invasion. By this time, Guderian held a key position as Inspector General of Armored Troops, overseeing the German tank forces. His task was to coordinate the defense of Normandy and manage the armored units that would attempt to repel the Allied advance. The Battle of Normandy, with its epic clashes at places like Omaha Beach and the Battle of Curren, marked a new phase in the war. Guderian faced the challenge of countering the overwhelming Allied forces and their superior resources. The battle-tested blitzkrieg tactics were now being employed in a defensive role as Guderian sought to delay the Allied advance. Despite fierce resistance, the Allies continued to gain ground, and the tide of the war in Western Europe began to shift. Guderian's efforts in Normandy, while valiant, could not change the course of the war. Delves into the complexities of the Battle of Normandy, Guderian's role in the defense, and the challenges faced by the German military as they attempted to stave off the Allied onslaught. The Last Stand as the year 1944 progressed, Nazi Germany found itself increasingly isolated and on the defensive. The Eastern Front had seen a Soviet resurgence, and the Western Allies were advancing on multiple fronts. For Heinz Wilhelm Guderian and the German military leadership, the situation had become dire. In this chapter, we examine the final stages of World War II and Guderian's role in the defense of the crumbling Third Reich. As the Allies closed in from the West and the Soviets from the East, Guderian faced the harsh reality of impending defeat. Guderian's efforts to coordinate the defense of Germany, along with his attempts to mitigate the devastating impact of Allied bombing raids, are explored in detail. The once vaunted blitzkrieg strategist was now tasked with the unenviable job of trying to hold back the tide of Allied forces. The closing days of World War II would be marked by desperate battles, strategic retreats, and the eventual collapse of Nazi Germany. Guderian's experiences during this period provide a sobering look at the end of an era. Delves into the challenges and decisions faced by Guderian and the German military leadership, as they grappled with the inevitable conclusion of the war. Guderian's Legacy As the dust settled on the ruins of Nazi Germany, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's legacy loomed large in the annals of military history. 
In this chapter, we examine the enduring impact of Guderian's contributions to the art of warfare. Guderian's innovative blitzkrieg tactics had forever altered the way modern armies approached combat. His emphasis on speed, mobility, and combined arms warfare became a template for future military strategies. The lessons learned from Guderian's campaigns influenced post-war military doctrines in nations around the world. This chapter delves into Guderian's post-war life, his role in shaping the nascent West German military, and his writings on military strategy. Guderian's memoir, Panzer Leader, provided insights into his experiences and the development of blitzkrieg tactics, ensuring that his ideas would be studied by military scholars for generations to come. Beyond his tactical contributions, Guderian's leadership during the war left a lasting mark on the officers and soldiers who served under him. His commitment to his troops and his unwavering determination in the face of adversity made him a respected and admired figure. Explores the enduring influence of Heinz Wilhelm Guderian on military thought, strategy, and the generations of military leaders who followed in his footsteps. The man behind the uniform. Beyond the battlefield, Heinz Wilhelm Guderian was a complex individual with a life that extended far beyond the confines of war. In this chapter, we take a closer look at the man behind the uniform. Guderian's personal life, his family, and his interests outside of military service provide insight into the person he was. His dedication to his family, particularly his wife and children, contrasted with the harsh realities of war. This chapter also delves into Guderian's character, his beliefs, and his experiences during the tumultuous period of Nazi rule in Germany. His interactions with other prominent figures of the time, including Adolf Hitler, shed light on his role within the Nazi regime. As we explore the personal side of Heinz Wilhelm Guderian, we gain a more complete understanding of the man who played such a pivotal role in shaping the course of World War II. Influence on Modern Warfare Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's influence on modern warfare extends far beyond his lifetime. In this chapter, we delve into the enduring impact of his tactical innovations and strategic thinking on the way nations conduct warfare in the contemporary world. Guderian's concept of blitzkrieg, characterized by rapid movement, surprise, and combined arms tactics, laid the foundation for modern mechanized warfare. Military doctrines of various countries have incorporated elements of his ideas, adapting them to suit their own needs and technology. The chapter explores case studies of conflicts and military operations where Guderian's principles have been applied or adapted. From the Gulf War to more recent conflicts, the legacy of Blitzkrieg can be seen in the strategies employed by nations with mechanized forces. Additionally, we examine how technological advancements, particularly in the realm of armored warfare and communication, have continued to shape the evolution of military tactics and strategies, often owing a debt to Guderian's pioneering work underscores the lasting impact of Heinz Wilhelm Guderian on the conduct of modern warfare and the ongoing relevance of his ideas in an ever-changing world. Lessons from Guderian's Tactics In the final chapter of this video, we reflect on the lessons that can be drawn from Heinz Wilhelm Guderian's life, career, and contributions to the world of military strategy. Guderian's story is one of innovation, adaptability, and determination. His ability to challenge conventional thinking and develop new approaches to warfare offers valuable insights for leaders and strategists in various fields. Key takeaways from Guderian's legacy include the importance of flexibility and adaptability in the face of evolving challenges, his emphasis on the integration of different arms of the military serves as a reminder of the power of synergy in achieving strategic objectives. Moreover, Guderian's commitment to continuous learning and his ability to apply lessons from history to contemporary challenges showcase the value of intellectual curiosity and open-mindedness. Conclusion In the annals of military history, the name Heinz Wilhelm Guderian stands as a testament to the power of innovation, adaptability, and unwavering determination. His pioneering concepts of blitzkrieg warfare reshaped the landscape of modern conflict, leaving an indelible mark on military strategy and tactics. From his early years of military education to his role as a commander on the front lines, Guderian's journey is one of continuous evolution and adaptation. He challenged the status quo, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in mechanized warfare. 
The chapters of this video have explored Guderian's life, his role in pivotal battles, and his lasting legacy. We've witnessed the birth of Blitzkrieg, the triumphs and challenges of the Eastern Front, and the enduring influence of his ideas on contemporary warfare. Beyond the battlefield, we've delved into the personal side of Guderian, gaining insight into the man behind the uniform and his interactions with the complex political landscape of Nazi Germany. Guderian's legacy extends far beyond the pages of history books. His influence on modern warfare and the enduring lessons from his tactics continue to shape military thinking and strategy. From the sands of North Africa to the plains of Eastern Europe, from the Battle of Normandy to the challenges of modern conflict, the spirit of Blitzkrieg lives on. As we close the pages of this video, we are reminded that Heinz Wilhelm Guderian was not just an architect of Blitzkrieg warfare, he was a visionary whose ideas continue to resonate in an ever-changing world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.